Hey you guys, go ahead and like, comment, and share this video if you like it. I'm going to say this now before the video gets started. Go ahead and subscribe too, that helps hello, a lot. Hello my loyal subjects, this is the Pumpkin King. Uh, I'm going to say hello my loyal subjects again because I don't know if you heard it at the beginning because it was a little scratch. But uh, I'm here to review Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Uh, I sound a little disappointed. Don't let that throw you off from listening to the whole review. Um... I haven't made a video in a while uh, because financial problems and uh, girlfriend drama, uh, but I'm here now and I've played, I, I got Assassin's Creed last week and I beat it in a co collectively a day and a half, but you know, virtually three days because I was sleeping while the game was on, so I s still count that. Um, but the the game great great gameplay great gameplay but see what i'm going to be talking about with you today is um well i'm going to start off with the gameplay i'm going to talk about how good it was i'm going to do pros and cons pros first cons last um first off gameplay um when when you see it on the trailer and you see the e3 of it it's it's amazing i mean who doesn't want to drive a fucking carriage around London? So, yeah, it, great gameplay, great, and I'm gonna keep saying that just so I don't sound like I'm being a hypocrite. Zipline, great, but let, let, let's let's start off with the basics. It, it was a game. The, the, the way it started off was great. If you didn't know how to play Assassin's Creed, it gave you some background. But if you play, it was it was kind of like it was for the veterans. Of Assassin's Creed, but because it didn't go through it too much. Most of the stuff you had to learn on your own, you had to figure out on your own. You know, do your own thing. We don't have to tell you everything. You know, you're a gamer, play the freaking game, which I can respect. But for those that are new to Assassin's Creed, have never played any of the Assassin's Creed, you jump into this, you're kind of like, ah, uh, I can't really. But it, it, but the the tutorial that they had for it gave you enough time to fiddle around with the controls and see what could and could not be done before you actually hopped into the game. Now, I didn't even bother with the downloadable content or the season pass. I wanted to hop right into the game, so I did. And I honestly don't think that the, the, the downloadable content would have added to my, you know, feelings towards the game. Um, so you get there and, <laughs> excuse me. I, I'm listening to myself over this thing, so I might be pausing, you know, periodically when I talk. Um, but so you, you you get to you 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 get into the game. Then there's these these you know th there's this brother, the sister. They're obviously twins because somewhere along the line you get you, you let know they're twins. But they have this animosity towards each other, and you don't know why they have this animosity. So. You go through, and they have Jacob, who's the strength base. He's like, you know, he's the Templar who focused on fighting more. There's Evie, who's stealth based. She's she. There's even a perk where you did you stand still and you disappear, which I think is kind of cool. But it's a it's a, it's really cheap. It's really really cheap for an Assassin's Creed game where you have to perfect on being silent. Um, they made the game really easy in some places, and where they tried to make it hard, they made it tedious instead of hard. Uh, there were certain parts in the game where you could literally caveman your way through that. And what I mean by that is that you could walk up to something and shoot it until it was dead with no outside interference. If you were Jacob and you had enough health, hey, I'm going to beat the fuck out of you without, you know, worrying about any of, uh, of these other people. I'm going to focus on you and then run away. If you're Eevee, you can literally s literally perfectly sneak sneak up on people and and assassinate them. A and you know that's not bad. That's not bad, but I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of old school where I like my games with a little bit of 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 uh what is it difficulty i like my games with a little bit of difficulty in them so that's one that's one thing it was lacking i mean especially with this new kidnapping function if you kidnap somebody and you walk slowly then you have a you, you have a light a little blend around you you blend it in to the background even though you obviously have this guy against his will but nobody knows one thing i did like that they did put in here is when like 
in the previous Assassin's Creed games, you're around the corner where nobody should be able to hear you kill this guy, but you kill this guy, and then the whole encampment's fucking alerted. They fix that in this, where you 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 know. You're around the corner. Nobody can hear you. Obviously, you see. You use your eagle vision. See who's around. Nobody's in the earshot. And they actually put that bar around. If you're sneaking, they put that bar to let you know how how loud people were near you. And they gave you a, a, a go ahead to see if it was okay to to do it or not. And I like that because I don't want to kill somebody, assassinate somebody silently, and the whole campman gets alerted. And I like that with the assassinating too. Like if you assassinated somebody silently, one thing that was a problem with Black Flag, if you no matter how you assassinated somebody, everybody knew where you were at instantly. Like how how how? But they fixed that with this. But in fixing that, I think they dumbed the game down. They watered uh, watered it down a lot. Um to talk about the 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 hook line, the, the the grappling hook thing, that was awesome. I mean, I'm I'm a comic character fan, so Spider Man is my favorite <laughs> comic book character. So doing the little thing, it's like it's like if Spider Man was born back in that time, pretty much. If you knew how to use it and you know fiddle around with it enough, you know how to use it. The thing with it is, it that was its only function to get across buildings to climb up i mean it had a point on it for pete's sake you could have killed somebody with it but no the only thing you could do with this grappling hook was grapple with it that's the only thing you could do um so that that's pretty much on gameplay it took me like two seconds to figure out how to drift in a carriage which i thought was pretty pretty awesome but it's hard to do it's not you you know you hit a drift but it doesn't tell you you drifted sometimes like you have to there's a there's a uh what is it a trophy on PlayStation 4 for it if you drift a certain amount of times and you drift so many times and it gets frustrating because you know you're drifting but it doesn't count it as a drift because evidently you're doing something wrong I don't know um but uh okay moving on from gameplay to the enemies I liked the burrows I like it, it was a it was a natural you know Take uh, divide and conquer. Take out the enemy's fortress. Uh, you know, find their weaknesses. You know, good, good idea, good idea. But they didn't capitalize on it. What I mean by that is, like I said, you can go up to a Templar and simply kill him. You didn't have to. You didn't have to do anything else. There was no. There was no consequence. No consequence. Unless you were doing like a follow mission or something, then you would have to. You know desynchronize and restart but otherwise there was no no penalty for doing something wrong none whatsoever and you know you kind of need that just just to you know spice it up a little bit yeah I'm pretty sure a bunch of people didn't mind it because hey get through the game quicker but I don't want to get through the game quicker I beat this game in a day and a half total and that's not good I want some sustenance in my game I want some difficulty in my game and most of all I want some storyline in my game so let's talk about the storyline oh my god this storyline was shit I'm sorry if I blew you guys ears out like I said before you have this these twins and they have animosity towards each other and you know that makes for great story because uh, they both have daddy issues but nobody knows why the fuck they have daddy issues nobody knows who their dad was except for Henry Green and you hear about that from a uh, Indian guy that isn't even Henry Green I'm gonna put spoiler alert at the beginning of this because there are spoiler alerts so if you gotten this far I will spoil you sorry that uh, it, it, it's a spoiler uh, review I, I'm reviewing the game but um so yeah the, the, the daddy issues Daddy issues, twin animosity. You don't you don't know anything about their childhood. You don't know how they were trained. You don't know why they're different. You just know that her dad told her not to mix feelings in with the mission. But that that makes no sense. That makes no sense. And I, I just don't get the at the beginning there's this this assassin that, you know, tells you to go back to the council and talk it out. But uh he that's it. And you're left to do whatever the fuck you want to do. And they go rogue. They literally go rogue. They leave the council and go somewhere else where there's not assassins. There's no assassins. There's one assassin here. And they go there. And the assassins do have not hunted them down. I'm expecting this whole game to be hunted down by at least one assassin that's following me or something. 
but nothing. There are no assassins here. There's Henry Green, who's a research assassin, and that's it. Nobody's looking for you. Nobody's reprimanding you for going rogue. Nobody's reprimanding you for disobeying the council. You save London. Yay! You go there to save London, and that's it. Like, it, it, they literally decide in a blink of an eye. They decide in a blink of an eye to go ahead and go to London. Um, the villains... Let's talk about uh, the, the female villain. I can't remember her name for the life of me. That's how insignificant what she was. I beat her. Um, I wish I had some gameplay of her, but I, I beat her and like I kept going. Um, she locks you into this tower, and she does this crappy, uh, not QTE, but it's, it's like counter-based moveset, and you, you have to block and whatever. I think the main boss does it a couple of times. Yeah, actually, he does. Um, but... You don't know why she's following the main guy. You don't know what her motivation for it is. Y you don't. You don't know, and they don't tell you. They don't capitalize on this great backstory they have, and tell you w why the bad guys are bad. You know, give you some. I'm a bad guy fan. I want to root for the bad guy sometimes. Yeah, the heroes are great. Spider-Man's great. But, you know, Black Suit Spider-Man is awesome. He's Black Suit Spider-Man because he's he's feeding off of the bad emotions of Spider-Man. That's what makes him him. But you don't know shit about these guys. You don't know why he's a Templar. You don't know who got him there. I mean, obviously, he's a Templar for control. That's what they want. But, I mean, otherwise, he, he, he there's a scene where, he, where this guy walks in. And he tells him, sir, we have some news for you or some shit. And the guy shoots him and goes, do not fucking disturb me. And, you know, that was great. I kind of jizzed in my pants a little bit because that was so fucking great. But nobody knows why he's so crazy. Why does he want this power? What is his drive? What is his motivation? What is his backstory? They had so much opportunity to build upon this game and make it so much longer and, and give it so much story that it's so much deserved. It was crying out for story and they did not deliver. It, it, oh, it, it upsets me so much. And, and the, the, what really upsets me is the council. The council, they, they, the, the guy says, let's talk to the council. The council will guide us. That kind of sounds like the father of understanding will guide us. It sounds like the Templars further in time are going more and more towards the thoughts of the Templars. Go get this so everybody will, else won't have them. Maybe we'll use it for power. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just keep it from everybody. And and last time I checked, the Templars were for the betterment of mankind. I mean, no, not the Templars. The Assassins were for the betterment of mankind. And the Templars were for the control of mankind. And I don't see this anymore. And maybe that's part of the story. Maybe that's part of the story or maybe that's just bad script. I don't know. I hope it's part of the story. But even so, if that is part of the story, why are we going that way? What happened to the Assassins? The Assassins used to stand up for justice and freedom. That's what they always stood for. But anyway, continuing on with the story. You beat the game. Well, you get to the end game, and this is mixing in storyline and gameplay. There's this one part that you can literally just run through. It's so redundant. It's so redundant. Like, it, it, yeah, you got Mario where you got to jump over this and go over there, but it's the same thing over and over again. You're tired of the guy. He literally, every time you get to him and fight him, he chokes you. He chokes you and fucking looks at you. He chokes you and fucking looks at you and tosses you across the room every time you end his, his little fight scene. Every time. And you, on, all the way to the end of the fucking, the fucking, uh, the shit, what is it, uh, the room. And you have to w find your way back through this laser grid of fucking lightning sheets. But, like, if you get tired of it, you can literally, uh, there's a point where I'm Jacob and I can just run run through the damn things. I get hit by it, eh, get up and keep going because there's there's not enough there's not enough force behind it. They they don't have enough want to make you, you know, want to get there. You know, you just let me just finish this. Let me go ahead and just, you know, kill the guy. That's that's how I felt because it was so redundant. It was so redundant over and over again, the same thing. It's like they they gave up on the boss fight. They, it's like they didn't try on the boss fight. And then you beat the game, then you find the, 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 the piece of Eden, and you the, the people in the real world go and get it. The best fight scene of the game, you're not even a part of. You're not even a part of the best fight scene in the game. 
and they don't even get the fucking piece of Eden. It's three assassins versus three Templars. The the odds are in the assassins' favor. They're in the smoke cloud. They're in the shadows. They are they are being everything assassins are supposed to be, but somehow, through some lack of training, through some unknowing way, these jackasses still lose the piece of Eden. Somehow, they still lose the piece of Eden, and. I'm sorry. They don't tell you anything. They don't tell you who you are as an initiate. They tell you to go in here, find, go through all this trouble, you know, deal with Juno face to face, and then, you know, yield results. But they don't yield results. They do all this shit, and they, they don't yield results. They, they let the Templars get away. And that's pretty much what it looks like. I mean, I know assassins don't usually, you know, the modern day assassin for some reasons don't have guns. But I mean, in this situation, you think you might use a gun. You think you might use a gun. Just, you know, kill them and get it over with. And then, you know, assassin's blade to the throat or some shit. So after after all that, you, you it, 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 like I said, great gameplay. Mediocre storyline. Not even mediocre. It's so much less than mediocre. Uh, you get, you you get to the you finish the game and then there's the end credits and then you you get knighted by the queen, which I guess is supposed to be cool. I mean, sure, I'd like to be knighted by the queen any day of the week, but I mean, I thought they were supposed to stay in the shadows. I mean, I thought the queen was the biggest figure. Of popularity if she knows you then you're not really saying in the shadows are you but you know what let us have creed do what it does I guess that sets up for some later you know later storyline telling we'll just have to wait and see won't we oh just, I my final synopsis get the game if you like Assassin's Creed if you want to continue the Assassin's Creed storyline Get the game. If you're new to Assassin's Creed, don't worry about it. It fills you in. If you there's certain things you have to do to get to Civil, I mean not the Civil War, the War World War One era. You play as one of their offsprings, and uh, you play as one of their offsprings, and Juno shows up and pretty much tells you her side of the the history of the game. But it's not the real thing. Um, so, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. You know, I'm actually, after after all is said and done, I, I still want to play the next Assassin's Creed. I mean, because I am a fan. I, 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 I'm not one of those fans just because I don't like something, you know, just like a football fan. A football fan that ha sees his team lose does not give up on his team. That's just that's just a real fan, and I am Assassin's I am an Assassin's Creed fan. I will continue playing the Assassin's Creed games until something about them literally pisses me off beyond all hope. So, my my overall synopsis, you know, great gameplay for a game. If you want to play a game, this is what it is. This. It's a game. It, it it's a game with bad boss fights. It's a game with you know redundant gameplay. But it's a game. You get to do stuff in it that you wouldn't normally do in any other game. It's unique to itself. And I do give it that. It's unique to itself. It, it's not like any other Assassin's Creed. It's not like any other gameplay from any other Assassin's Creed. And it's not like any other game, period. So, I'm not saying it's a monument to gaming. But it's something to play. And it's not, it's not too bad. So, you know. You have that. This has been Pumpkin King playing Assassin's Creed Syndicate, reviewing Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. There will be more videos to come. Uh, who knows what the future will hold. Uh, Fallout comes out next week, and I am literally having anxiety for that. Uh, I hope you'll watch, us, watch me play that and uh, spaz out over coming out of the vault. <laughs> so uh yeah thanks for watching this has been pumpkin king playing well i already said that y'all have to say it again so signing off